Hi. In this video, we'll introduce short circuit evaluation. You may notice the voice in this video is different. That's because this is a guest lecture. My name is Calvin, and I'll be taking you through short circuit evaluation. So first, I'd like to revisit Boolean values. Remember that a Boolean refers to a value that is either true or false. A Boolean value holds either true or false. It's one of those two. Also remember that logical operators allow us to connect and modify Boolean expressions into full logical statements. For example, if we had two Booleans, is chocolate is true and is vanilla is false, we could have the full logical statement Boolean yummy is equal to is chocolate or is vanilla, or is a logical operator that takes two Boolean values as inputs. These are the logical operators we've learned about so far. We have not, or, and and. And remember that and works as follows. If we're evaluating x and y, we have to look at both x and y to determine if, the, if x and y is true or false. We see that the only way for and to be true is if both x and y are true. If one of the inputs is false, it will end up being false. So while we're computing and, we actually see that there's a little bit of a shortcut here. If you look closely, we see that if the first input is false, then the entire statement will end up being false. We don't even have to look at y. It doesn't matter what y is, because if x is false, x and y is going to end up being false. We see that false and anything is equal to false. Similarly, with or, when we're evaluating x or y, we see that the only way for this to be false is if both x and y are false. If one of the inputs is true, the whole thing will end up being true. So if you look at the top here, we see another shortcut. Can you see it? If x is true, then the entire x or y will end up being true. We don't even have to look at the second argument. We don't even have to bother evaluating it, because no matter what it is, true or anything is true. This is called short circuit evaluation. If the result of the Boolean expression can be determined by the first argument, then there's no reason to look at the second argument. The second argument will not be evaluated. Specifically, if we have first and second, if first is false, then the whole expression must be false. We don't bother evaluating second. If we have first or second, if first is true, then the whole expression must be true. Don't bother evaluating second. So let's look at an example of how we can use this. Here we have a program that determines if there's enough pizza for everyone. We divide the number of slices by the number of people, and if that value is greater than zero, then there must be enough pizza for everyone. But there's a problem here. If num people is equal to zero, and we divide by zero, this crashes the program. We can't divide something into zero parts. That doesn't make sense. So Java will crash if you try to divide by zero. So to prevent this, we can use short circuiting. Before this second Boolean expression, we'll put in a first Boolean expression to check that num people is not equal to zero. If num people is not equal to zero, and num slices divided by num people is greater than zero, then we're okay. We see that if this first expression evaluates to false, this second one won't even be looked at. So we will never divide by zero. Let's look at a case where num people is not zero. Here, this evaluates to true, and so we actually have to evaluate the second part to determine if the entire statement is true, but that's okay because num people isn't zero. So this is how we can use short circuiting in our programs to our advantage. Let's explore this in the editor. So this is the program we just saw that determines if there's enough slices of pizza for everyone to eat. The way it does that is by dividing the number of slices by the number of people and checking that that's greater than zero. Let's see what happens when we input zero for the number of people. Ooh, the program crashed because we may be dividing by zero. Correct, we are. So how can we stop ourselves from dividing by zero? Well, we'll use short circuiting. Insert a Boolean expression right here. If num people is not equal to zero, and num slices divided by num people is greater than zero, then we're okay. The only way that this will be executed is if num people is in fact not equal to zero. If this is true, this will be executed. If this is false, this will be skipped. So now let's see what happens. If we input zero for number of people, awesome, there's not enough pizza for everyone. What about if we input a five? Each person gets two slices, great. And for good measure, let's make sure that if there's too many people, there's not enough pizza for everyone, correct. Let's explicitly see this below. We can short circuit with or by putting a true as the first argument. So Boolean, this will be true is equal to true or 
And then to make sure that this second part is not evaluated, let's do something that will definitely crash. Let's say 3 divided by 0 is double equal to 0. If this expression starts to be evaluated, then the program will, will crash. Now let's print this out. This will be true. Same thing down here. Boolean, this will be false is equal to false. And let's do 9 divided by 0 is greater than 1. So if this Boolean expression starts to be evaluated, then the program must crash system.out.println, this will be false. So let's try that. I'm going to put 0. There we go. We see that this was not evaluated here. This will be true was true, so this must have never been evaluated. And this will be false is false, so this must have never been evaluated. So this is short-circuiting in action, and this is how we can use it in our programs.